channel. Welcome back to my 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 channel. Welcome back. I'm Tia. I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wig related content here. We're multicultural. We're inclusive. I do name brand wigs and also affordable beauty supply store wigs. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, you're my doll baby. Hi, doll baby. How are you? So happy that you are here. Okay. So a little housekeeping. Highlighted today, we have Renee of Paris's, no, Jean Renault's Zara. I actually had a request for Zara, and I did review, reviewed Renee of Paris's Zara, and the person really wanted Jean Renault's Zara, so I got you, girl, okay? That is coming up soon. Um, today, this girl that I'm wearing right here is Beltress's Dolce Dolce 18. It's in the color Roca Margarita Blonde. And yeah, today I'm going to review a wig from Tressalor, and this is picture perfect, and it's in a color that I'm super interested in. This color reminds me a lot of Tress's milk, British Milk Tea, and this is the color three-toned gray with brown. Picture perfect is retailing around that $430 mark. Of course, you can, you know, buy things on sale or find different discounts, but that is... Um, I'm looking at name brand wigs right now, and that is what she is listed for. So Picture Perfect is a lace front. You can see that right here. And then this is a monofilament top. So you have movement in the entire top, and you can kind of see you have all this area to work with, and it's got that beautiful scalp in there, and you can move all this hair Around. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw her on um, because I've already had her on once and she really doesn't take that much to get together. Uh, she doesn't have any combs in the front or back and there are adjustable straps. The rest of her cap outside of that monofilament cap is wefted, which is nice because it gives you some airflow. This wig is pretty um, comfortable. I would say it's running a little bit bigger than some of the other ones. My size, my head size is 21.5, which is petite-ish average, depending on uh, which company and wig you're talking about. And this one seems to be um, a little bit big, so I would say it's closer to more of the average pushing large um, you can see this, look at that gorgeous hairline, gorgeous. I am gonna throw a little bit of powder just along that hairline so you can see um, some people don't mind the knots because they feel like it looks like their hairline. Other people do mind seeing the knots. So I can show you sort of what it looks like. So this is what it's looking like without powder, okay? And then this is what it's gonna look like with me just tapping a little bit of powder into those knots just to sort of fill in the gaps and it just mask where the knots connect with the lace so it's not as visible and I think it does make a little bit of a difference bendable ear tabs so because she you know has this monofilament parting you can sort of move her around but it is going to take you a minute to kind of find you know the sweet spot um, this does not appear to be a heat safe wig. It didn't say it on that. This color is so interesting um, with this sort of brown underneath. It's really giving me sort of 2000s when you would like dye your hair dark underneath. I'm going to use a little bit of the Tressalore wig wax just to keep it uh, back out of my face. And also I think you can really see the color so beautifully um, when you do that. Um, this is, I wouldn't say a, a thick, thick wig, but there's a little bit of, uh, you know, weight right here uh, that you can work with. Yeah, if I were to, and, and this is, these are all handmade, so it just depends on, you know, how it's hand tied in here, but you may need to sort of clip the hair down, wet it down a little bit and clip it down to set the part since it's not heat safe. I don't think I've ever done a video on using water to set apart, and maybe I should do that. If you would like to see that video, go ahead and let me know down below. But for now, we're just going to use this Tressler wig wax, which is working quite well. Let's look at her from the back. 
she's probably in that 14 to 15 inch range. I'm five foot six and a half. This color is like giving me light. I really love this color, absolutely. Yeah, you would definitely need to do some work to sort of train this to hair. Go back, but it is a gorgeous style. The rooting is insane. The, just this color is insane to me. It is really, really stunning. I think if you're used to sort of having blonde wigs, this is gonna give you a little something extra uh, without going too, too far outside of your box. And yeah, I think that this is stunning. I really want to see what this looks like next to uh, my British milk tea uh, from Beltress. That is what I have for this wig. If you have this wig and you have thoughts, please let me know down below. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a full Tressalore playlist. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you have, thank you so much. You're my doll baby. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.